Hello everyone, this is the CRT Productions and this is the Asus Tough Gaming F17 Notebook from Asus and uh, this video has transitioned a little bit from what it originally uh, was planned to be. This was supposed to be my review of the laptop but I have decided to make this a two-part series. If there's enough interest in it, uh, leave a comment down below if you'd like to see it. I have a good idea of maybe a little comparison between Windows 11 and Windows 10. But um, This laptop comes with a Windows 11 and um, yeah, it's causing a little bit of problems for me personally. I'm not sure if anyone else is experiencing these problems, but in this video I am going to give you the Asus Tough Gaming F17 Notebook out of box experience. This is how the laptop is working for me personally out of the box with Windows 11 installed on it. Now, when I, when I purchased this laptop, the listing on Best Buy said that it comes with Windows 10, uh, which was something I was happy about because I understood that some new laptops were being shipped out with Windows 11. I was like, okay, that's good. Windows 10, I'm used to it. I like it. Nothing wrong with it. You know, kind of like how people were with Windows 7 in 2015 and 2012 when other versions of Windows were released. Uh, but anyway, Windows 10 is tried, tested, and true. Uh, it works good. And uh, But this one, unfortunately, when I turned it on, I saw Windows 11 pop up. In the future, I want to maybe try comparing this with Windows 10 on this same laptop since it has a second NVMe SSD slot in it. Uh, we will maybe compare the two and uh, see how differently it performs with Windows 10. But for now, this is the out-of-box experience. Hello everyone, this is the CRT Productions and this is the Asus Tough Gaming F17 Gaming Notebook, brand new from Asus. Uh, so featuring the Intel Core i5 11260H 6-core 12-thread processor and the GeForce RTX 3050, the 4GB non-TI 3050. It's got the high refresh rate monitor, the uh, backlit keyboard, RGB set to whatever color you like using the Asus Aura uh, program installed on it. And uh, it also comes with the Asus Armory Crate program pre-installed, which uh, frequently needs updates, as you can probably tell. So right now we can see our RAM is, um, well, we have 8 gigabytes of RAM, and 53% of that is being used right now. And, uh, well, you might be wondering, what all kind of programs do I have open right now? Uh, well, it's just Armory Crate. As a matter of fact, it's the only thing I have open right now. That's just Windows, Windows 11, um, which is the unfortunate side of this laptop. The 6-core, uh, 12-thread processor is nice. Um, RTX 3050, yeah, okay, better than a 1650, um, which a lot of gaming laptops have nowadays, um, especially on the lower end, if you're looking to spend maybe, I don't know, less than $1,200 on a laptop. Um, 3050s, not too bad of a deal. But, um, this one has Windows 11 on it, which is one of the less um, impressive specifications. Windows 11 using, uh, well, it's gone up since I started talking, 54.5% of my RAM. It's showing 7.7 .7 gigabytes total usable memory, and 4.2 gigabytes of that is used up right now. Um, this computer comes with a 500 gigabyte SSD, NVMe SSD, and it has another NVMe slot. So you can put another um, one of your own SSDs in here if you'd like. Um, expand the storage. Um, it comes up showing 453 gigabytes of that being usable. Um, and right now I'm using uh, a little over half of that, 55%. Um, so right here is showing my CPU fan is at zero RPM. This thing does tend to run pretty darn hot. Right now I can feel it. It's been on a while and it is warm, very warm. Um, in fact, a while back, let me feel the bottom. Right now the bottom's not too bad, but a while, a while ago I was using it and I noticed it was really hot on the bottom because I had it in my lap and um, the fans weren't running. I was wondering why 
that is. I uh, went down here to the battery section. Of course, it has different settings, one of them being silent um, when it's on battery power. Uh, silent, of course, means it doesn't run the fans. Well, um, it wasn't in silent mode. It was in performance mode, uh, which should theoretically run the fans pretty much all the time. In addition to that, it has a touchpad. Uh, touchpad's pretty good size. Um, it's not huge uh, compared to some laptops nowadays, but it's there. It works. Um, it has a bunch of little gestures and different things that it supports. Multi-touch, of course, which I like. I like that very much, but that does come with a downside. Um, this touchpad is not very impressive as far as responsiveness. Um, so I've noticed sometimes when you tap or when you're just trying to make little small movements with it, it can be a little bit annoying because it's, there's a slight little delay. Um, it's hard to really demonstrate that on camera or anything like that, but if you've ever used a modern touchpad or touch screen or anything like that, you probably know how that works. GPU temperature right now is 53 degrees. That is not good um, considering we're just sitting here idle. 53, that's, yeah. I'd like for it to be at least below 40 at idle. Um, but it's at 53 right now. It's showing our CPU sitting at 55 degrees, um, which is, yeah, not great. Um, this thing has dual fans though, um, so when you're putting it under a great load, the fans come on, you'll know when the fans come on, because they're, they're fairly noisy, I mean they're not terrible, but they are noisy, you'll know when they're on. Monitor's pretty nice, I mean you can see there, just moving the mouse around, it's not, um, it's not like some monitors where it just pops up here and there and everything, you know how that goes refresh rates. It's a nice monitor. Um, viewing angles, decent, not great. Not great. But the biggest thing about the monitor for me is the colors. The colors are weird on this monitor. Um, just out of the box. I'm not talking about tweaking it or anything like that. Out of the box, colors are weird. They're kind of um, muted, I would say. It's um, not very high contrast and it's just things that I'm used to seeing, especially um, reds, I've noticed. The reds, when I look at the uh, Opera GX logo there, I have that installed on here. Hopefully nothing interesting comes up here. Okay. Um, like this. This is supposed to be red, but it looks more pink to me. Um, but yeah, a lot of things that are supposed to be red turn out to be more pink on this monitor. Ready to take a look and see what's inside. Uh, I did remember to cover up my uh, information there, so that's always a good thing. Let's go ahead and see what's inside. This is a model TUF706H with an Intel Core i5 11260H 6 core 12 thread processor and an RTX 3050 regular um, 4 gigabytes of VRAM. Speakers are pretty nice. That's something I cannot knock this laptop for. These speakers are pretty nice on this laptop. Um, decent lows, and um, yeah, not the home improvement store, but the um, low frequencies that it produces from the speakers are pretty decent. It doesn't have a uh, subwoofer or anything like that, but just decent laptop speakers. Alright, so I have no idea what this looks like for you uh, until I watch this recording back, but uh, using the built-in webcam and microphone and uh, recording the screen from the laptop itself, let's take a look at some more specifications if we can here. So this is Best Buy. This is this device, RTX 3050 non-TI, 512GB SSD, um, and uh, from my understanding, it's an Intel uh, NVMe SSD. All right, so why don't we compare that recording that was just made with the Asus Tough Gaming F17 to this laptop. Right now, I'm using Windows 7 Home Premium on a Toshiba Satellite L755 laptop with a Pentium B940 processor. And we'll 
why don't we just take, take a look at some specifications of this laptop and compare the quality of the recording. Right now I'm recording in 2 megabytes per second at 60 FPS. The previous recording was made at 1 megabyte per second, 60 FPS. So I'm using twice the um, bit rate with this laptop as I was the other one. And we'll just take a look here. We had 4 gigabytes of RAM. Um, of course, that's dual channel. And uh, Windows 7 and a Pentium. This is a lower resolution screen, but um, it's all about the bit rate, really. Alright, well, it's time to uh, try out some games, and that means getting everything up to date. And uh, as soon as I can do that, we're going to try out a few different games, including Forza Horizon 5, um, which you can probably already imagine isn't going to do too well on this laptop. Oh, boy. Well, uh, good thing I've got the CRT Shack Discord server to look at while I wait for all these downloads to finish. Uh, check it out in the link in the description. Alright, well, I'm not really sure what this game is all about. Um, I can't really get it to do anything besides this. Um, but, we are using 94% of our memory, which isn't a good thing right off the bat. Um, it was going to 100% CPU usage before, but now it's barely using any system uh, resources. It's just doing this. I don't know what this game is. I've obviously never played it before, in case you couldn't tell. Um, it is going at about 5 frames per second, as you can see by that. And that shows it a little bit better. Um, and yeah, every time I start it up, this is all I get. I don't know, I don't know how to get, how to play this game, or if there even is a gameplay. Is there any gameplay in this? I have no idea. All right, so CS:GO is a game we should be able to run with no problem on this system. I've got it on all low settings. I'm going to jump into a multiplayer match real quick and let's see how it handles CS:GO. So right now we're getting 120 FPS. Now this is a relatively large map, not really. There's way bigger maps in this game than this, but that's just what we're doing right now. Um, it's obviously a decent experience, but we're not even hitting 140 FPS here. Um, and on the kill screen I was getting, well, right here, right here I'm getting about I think if I look at the ground, I get about 160, 170 FPS. 170 looking at the ground here in the house. But when I'm out here with characters on the screen, it's 100 and like 110 FPS. So we're not even hitting 140 FPS for the 100 it's just out of the screen here. The little sticker says 144 hertz monitor. So. Obviously, we need 144 FPS to take advantage of that. It's uh, obviously a relatively decent experience. I mean, we're on lowest settings. It's not great, but... Scare you real quick. All right. Oh, well. All right, Team Fortress 2. If it couldn't run CSGO at 140 FPS, surely it can run this. I'm just going to go ahead and warn you though, I've got this on all maxed out settings right now. So let's see how it handles that. Let's see, it looks like we're getting, well, not bad, 170, about 70 FPS. There you go. Alright, I'll turn that down a little bit, I suppose, so we can hit 140 FPS. But with maxed out settings, it looks like it was going between 60 and 70 FPS. Alright, well, that's not a good start to this one, but here we are. I turned out a few things. I'm not sure if that will give us 140 FPS or not. Looks like right now, with all kinds of stuff going on, I'm just looking at my FPS here, it was sitting around 52 FPS just then, so in just a moment, let me turn down some more stuff. All right, so every time I change the settings, the game crashes. So that's good. Um, 
Now I'm just using the default settings that it set it to, which was sort of a mixture of high, medium, and low stuff, um, and anti-aliasing turned off. So let's just see how it does with that, I guess. Looks like we're doing pretty terrible. Um, yeah, so inside here we are getting about 140 FPS. That's cool, I guess. Um, but when we were outside, we were getting like 60 FPS. So let's see what we can do here. Not much. TF2 is strangely a little bit worse than CSGO, although I did have the settings at the lowest they could go in CSGO. So TF2, um, obviously playable. I mean, we're not just talking about playable experiences, though, like I usually am on this channel uh, when I review laptops from 2007. We're looking at hopefully getting 144 FPS, and uh, we're not getting that in these old titles. So, that's basically my point about this, uh, these basic benchmarks that I'm doing. That's really about all we need here for this thing because, um, as I've demonstrated here, you're not going to be hitting 140 FPS in any games besides maybe TF2 when you're inside the buildings. Um, but, yeah, I do want to try one more game just to see how it performs. Alright, here's Assetto Corsa. Um, don't ask me why I'm trying this, I'm just doing it because why not? Right now it's running at 7 FPS. Um, I have this on roughly medium settings. Let's see, how do you control this? I don't even remember how you control it. Oh yeah. This is why I wanted to try this game. Alright, so I've set all the settings to the lowest thing they can possibly go to. Let's see what the experience is like now. It would appear I'm about to be involved in a car accident. I don't think I have much choice, to be honest with you. Alright, well, that's a set of Corsa, and that's about ex exactly what I expected from it on this laptop, to be honest with you. Well, that's about all I've got for you on the Asus Tough Gaming F17 Notebook. Uh, a lot of these problems that I just demonstrated are no doubt caused by Windows 11. Um, and that's why I've had the idea, if there's enough interest, um, leave a comment down below if you're interested in this, by the way. Um, since this has an extra NVMe SSD slot, I would be interested in putting another one in here and installing Windows 10 on it and uh, setting it up myself rather than using the Asus um, pre, whatever you call it, pre-installed Windows 11 copy. I would be interested in installing and setting it up myself, installing Windows 10, and um, trying out some of those things that we just tried, gaming and screen recording and things such as that. Uh, Adobe Creative Cloud does not work on this laptop no matter what I do. I've reinstalled it, reinstalled it, I've used the CC Cleaner app, I've done everything I possibly know how to do, and um, it just doesn't work no matter what. But it works fine on Windows 10. It even worked fine on an old laptop from 2009 that I that I have um, installed Windows 10 on that and installed Creative Cloud. It works perfectly fine on that. So this is a brand new laptop and it doesn't work. So that's why I'm thinking it's probably Windows 11 because that's the only that's the only factor that separates these systems. So I want to try Windows 10 on it definitely at some point. Um, but 
yeah, for now, it's got Windows 11, that's the out-of-box experience. The Asus Tough Gaming at 17 notebook. Thank you for watching, and uh, stay safe out there.